Well, hello, I am Chef Natalia and welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to today's episode of Healthy Intent YouTube channel where you get to learn about how to entertain better today. What are you doing for the holidays? Are you going to a Halloween party or are you hosting a Halloween party or are you hosting just like a fall party or get together with your friends or neighbors? I love, love, love sharing tips on how to create stunning, breathtaking, entertaining platters. One of the largest displays that I have personally put together was for about 100 people and we filled an entire 13 foot table with all kinds of different varieties of food and hors d'oeuvres and a charcuterie display. So magnificent and people get to enjoy and there's something about having these gorgeous grazing tables or platters that people can come in and really truly enjoy the together experience of eating from one dish. So today I'm going to completely wing it. This has not been planned. All I did is went to the grocery store and bought a bunch of ingredients. So I figured for Halloween, we start with a cute little orange tiny pumpkin. And then um, the theme of this platter is going to be, everything's going to be black and white. So I went to the store, let me show you. So I got some blackberries here. I got two types of grapes, so regular grapes. And then I found these grapes that look like fingers, which I thought was pretty cool. So we keep in those. I have some dark chocolate covered marshmallows, which will probably be slicing in half so that you can kind of see the whole black and white theme. And then there's lots of white cheese. So I have a whole thing of brie here. I have a white cheddar cheese, I have manchego, and I have a goat cheese. So we have four different types of cheese and we have grapes, okay? And marshmallows and we have crackers. So I have these nice and thin 34 degree crisps. There's a sesame flavor. I find these, I found this in Publix and Whole Foods. And then as far as the crackers, I really lacked out. Look, I went to the store and found black rice crackers. I mean, I've never seen black crackers, so this is pretty cool. And then also these Mary's Gun crackers, these uh, super seed seaweed and black sesame. So these have a black look to them as well. So look, we have berries, we have grapes, we have cheese and crackers, we have chocolate. And then I have white yogurt covered pretzels and we have some some other black and white chocolatey stuff that we may or may not use. So we're gonna get started and we'll see how this comes together, but I'll show you how easy it is without having a total plan to put together a beautiful platter. You ready? Let's get started. So now we're ready to put together this platter. As you can see for the platter, I didn't use anything expensive. So you don't have to stress about what platter to use. Just use whatever white or black platter that you have based on the kind of a background you want to have. So we have four different types of cheese. So I think that we're going to plan out that about two, like two thirds of the platter is cheese and crackers and fruit. And then the rest, we're kind of going to bring in the chocolate stuff. So we start with this large piece of brie that we have here. So I put that right in there. And don't worry about where the pumpkin goes. The pumpkin's location might change. The trick here is to use different types of cuts of cheese, right? So see, I took this manchego and I sliced it in a little triangle. So I'm gonna have it like that for now. And I had this honey goat cheese. So we're gonna put it about here, okay? So I use this little black dish to put the goat cheese in there. And now I have this cheddar cheese, which I cubed. So we're just going to spread these cubes around here in no particular manner. And we can always fill this in. So I'm gonna use this as a starting point. And then you see it's already starting to look like something pretty cool, right? So we start with that. All right, so I have another little fan of manchego cheese that we can 
I'm going to fan it out this way right here. It does not have to be absolutely perfect. I'm just going to kind of get it close just so that it looks pretty. Okay, so we have four types of really light color cheese. And if you remember, we have three types of crackers here. So we have some white crackers here. So I'm going to put place them right here. And I have some black crackers. So I'm going to place them around this way. And I have a different type of black crackers that we're going to place right here. So it's already starting to take shape and it's starting to look interesting, right? Next, we're going to use our grapes and place the grapes around. I really like these, the shape of these grapes. They kind of look like fingers, which is perfectly creepy for our Halloween platter. This is going to be fun, 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 fun. All right, I'm going to add some of these, more of these fingers this way. Like I said, right now, we're not worrying about it looking super perfect. We're just placing things and using our artistic abilities, which I know all of you have. So the next thing we're going to do is let's use some of our yogurt covered pretzels. I'm going to place them right here. See, it's really coming together nicely, huh? And then we have these little caramel cookies. Chocolate and cheese and berries. I mean, this is a pretty good combination if you ask me. And everything is in that black and white theme. I also have these sunflower seed crunchy bites. These are pretty, actually really, really yummy cookies if you haven't tasted those. So I'm going to put some of these on here as well. So once we have the majority of the stuff already on the platter. What we do is we start fixing it and we start filling it in and we start looking for places where we can add things, right? So now we can add a few more of these pretzels so that it starts to look really nice and abundant. Pretzels here and maybe we'll have, so right here I feel like we could add some of these little marshmallows that I cut them up in half and we're going to place them half side up because whenever you create a platter you always think a nice variety of items on there so that it really looks full as full as possible if if needed use a smaller platter but just fill it to the brim so that it, it screams abundance right so look at how nicely that is already looking, right? So I feel like we could add a few more cubes of cheese right here. That cheese, we can add a few more of these finger grapes. Doesn't that look so cute? Okay, and now I have some really nice fresh blackberries that we can add to this end. You know, usually when I create platters, I go for a beautiful variety of colors. So this is unusual to do something black and white. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually get on the step stool and look down and see what else we can do. So I have these chocolate covered almonds so we're going to place a few of these here. And you want to get up on the step stool and 
look down and just kind of see how this platter is presenting itself. See, are you happy with it? Is this going to be a nice representation of your creativity? Okay, so I have just one more type of grates and I'm just going to test this out to see if adding this whole thing is going to look pretty. What do we think? It's really a matter of personal taste. I like this a lot. I think it just adds a little bit of the height. I would stop right there. I would stop right here. I think our platter looks really, really beautiful, amazing and delicious. And it's kind of a really funky, awesome color scheme. All right, and here we are. We have our amazing platter. Don't you feel like you would be so proud to serve this to your friends and family and bring to somebody? I love the monochromatic uh, color scheme here. And this just pop of the orange pumpkin. It's, oh, and now you know how to create your own masterpiece. It's easy. You have the general direction and the guidance and then work within the the dimension of your platter if you can even make this on a lot smaller scale on a smaller platter just use a couple of different types of cheese maybe not the whole wheel of the brie maybe half of the brie remember the the trick is we want to use different types of cuts of cheese so we, we use round and we use the cubes and the slices and we had some loose goat cheese going here and then we had the loose grapes and then we had the grape on a stem and then we had the loose blackberries and then all of these different varieties of chocolates each thing that you add to the platter really adds visually and flavor wise and texturally amazing thank you so much for watching please please share this video with your friends if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel. I, it's an honor to be here with you and be present with you. It's always a pleasure. I always get so much joy out of making these videos and live a deliciously healthy life. Bye for now.